Welcome to another episode of Law Dog Corvette. In the last episode, you saw us replace the lock, uh, the cylinder lock for the door. Uh, and of course, you have to have the door card off. Uh, that video is gonna be right up here. Uh, but now that we've replaced the cylinder lock, we do not need access to this door panel, so it's time to put on the door card. The door card we got from Zips Corvette uh, Zips Corvette located in Mechanicsville, Virginia. That's where I get all my part. It's part number I-451. However, this is one of the, uh, I guess, unique parts that Zips sells, but it's they sell it from another manufacturer, and the manufacturer in this case is a manufacturer called Corvette America. And here is the door card. All right. So there it is. Um... Uh, we changed our interior color from a brown to a black. So this is the black, what they call standard door card. It fits a 1970 to a 1977. Ours is a 1974 Corvette convertible. The door card is made of ABS molded plastic on the back. And then it's got a pad and then a, I guess, I think they call it leatherette really just plastic on the outside. Interesting thing here, it comes already pre-installed with your armrest, I guess, in the door panel. So you have your lock unlock, and this is where your uh, door handle pull will go. It also comes already installed with your felt strip that comes all across the top. This is for your window. So the installation is pretty easy. Uh, comes with a detailed instructions and there's 11 steps so we're just going to go through all 11 steps all right the first step is to cut the holes that you're going to need and the first step is to cut these two holes right here they're for the door pull so we'll do that right now all right the door pulls go right here and right here and of course there's already an indention the instructions say you just got to cut in here, and of course I have an X-Acto knife, and you're just going to cut in, and you're going to remove all the padding from behind this. So after you get a nice little cut, then you're going to want to come in and make sure you get all that padding out. Just like that. So that's one. So step one, cut those holes out so your door pole can go in there. All right, the next step is you hook the door panel up on the door and alignment, you're looking for this triangular shape to go into this triangular shape right here. So that's your alignment spot right here. That's kind of where you want to generally get the door. You want to hook the top of the panel up here on the top of the door so it generally looks like that. So that's, that's a good alignment right there. And with an off, you're going to want to poke two holes. Your first hole is going to be right here. If you haven't replaced your weather stripping, you want to go ahead and do that now because this is the weather stripping upper uh, retainer pin and that's going to sandwich between the hole I'm going to make, this hole in the door. It's just going to come in here and we're just going to poke a hole generally in this area. That's one. The next hole you're going to poke is the upper pin, upper screw on the other side of the door. But this hole you actually come from the other direction. If 
you can see that I've already cut away a little of this and here is where the screw is going to fit through. So you want to come from this way. You want to try to get in the center of that hole. And there you, all you're doing is just poking a hole. So you know where to put that screw. And so there's our screw point right there. And there's our screw point right there. All right, so we did step two and step three, and now it's time to do step four. And that is, we're gonna hook the door up here and we're gonna find the hole that is gonna be protruding with your window crank. Of course, if you have automatic windows, you're not gonna have a window crank. So you would skip this, that step. So once you have your door in position, you're going to come down here and you're looking to, you're looking to find that right there. And then once you found it, then you're going to come out and you're going to cut around that. can see there it is and so now I'm just gonna cut around that hole and this is just generally the hole once it's on the door we're going to fine-tune it and get it exactly where we want it to go. All right. Two retaining clips at the bottom of the door, and that's gonna be right here and right here. Now, here's a pro tip. These retaining clips sit in the door like that. And they have to go under here and sit all the way here. But guess what? There's two staples right here. These two staples are going to prevent you from getting that clip all the way into there. So those two staples need to go. And on this one, I probably only have to remove that one staple. With those staples out of the way, then you can get this retaining clip all the way in and quite flush. Well, I don't know. I think I might gotta remove that one too. Now does this fit flat? And sure enough, that's what it should look like. If you don't have this retaining pin flush to this side, you'll never ever get this on the side of the door. So that's what it has to look like. It's got to look flush. And same over on this side. All right, and that's what it has to look like again. The secret here is this retaining clip has to go all the way in in order to get this screw hole uh, lined up with the door. Yep. Hey, it looks pretty good at this point. 
before we go ahead and start screwing these in, the instructions say don't put this on until after you have it all screwed in. But we've already done the other side and we really had a hard time getting this in, basically leading this part of the handle past this part of the mounting bracket. So I think what I'm gonna do this time is go ahead and put the handle on. time we're gonna see this it's just a good thing to do is make sure it all works properly all right now I'm gonna take this handle So generally that's how it's supposed to look. All right, next step is go ahead and start putting these screws in. This back one is usually the easier one. So we'll try that one first. can be a little tricky. So let's see what we can do. All right, so this back this back bolt can be a little tricky. Be careful with it because you want to make sure you don't mess up this um, leatherette material. If you rip it, it's that's a pretty noticeable spot. So just be careful putting pressure on this bolt. All right, your next bolts are gonna be your bottom retaining pins. And if you spend some time on your clips, these should be pretty easy. And of course they are. I'm gonna ask my cameraman to hold the camera, press in, there you go. All right, let's get that one in. All right, so all of your uh, screws to hold the door card on the door are now on. And now it's just time to uh, continue on with the accessories. All right, so this is a good time to come in here and if you need to trim this out, actually this is not that bad. Actually looks pretty good. And so your window crank spacer has these little tabs. What you wanna do is you just wanna push these tabs and I've already made little holes here here and here so we're just gonna insert the crank these tabs into those holes and we're just looking for a little a bit of a flush there we 
go. That looks good. Your window crank looks like this. And of course, if you look down in here, we've got these teeth right here. And those teeth are gonna feed in right there. And of course, the dreaded window crank retaining pin. You wanna go ahead and feed that pin and get it started. You wanna get it started just enough. So you all you gotta do is put a little pressure on it. And it'll pop right into place. Fires. Yeah, that moves. There you go. Alright, so this window crank retaining pin, you need to get it started. You don't need to go all the way, but it does need to be started. Uh, a little too far. So just leave it just like that. So when it's on there, all you gotta do is put a little pressure right here and it'll snap into place. Small click, but that's all it is. And that window crank is now on. That looks pretty good. All right. The next step is the door lock. So that's what it's supposed to look like just to get it started. And then So you got lock and unlock. And there it is. That pin is in place. Lock, unlock. All right. That is all of the hardware minus one piece door pull. All right, the door pull looks like this. This side, the side um, screw hole always goes on the top and the, the screw hole is kind of right in the middle. That'll go on the bottom. So it's gonna look like that. Remember the side one is up here and the middle one's right here. So the first thing you need to do is you gotta put this on here and then again with your awl you're gonna try to poke a hole into the um, the back of that ABS plastic door there we go and the same thing up here And there it is. They're different than most of the other uh, interior screws. I mean, these, one, these are um, not really self-tapping, but they definitely have this little uh, beveled edge to help you find that screw hole that's on the door. And you may have to try a couple times on this.
These screws also help hold the door card close. Come back down here and tighten this bottom one. your door card. All right, we do have one Corvette emblem to super glue right there. We'll do that tomorrow. But this is the installation of the 1974 door card. This was part number I-451 from Zips Corvette. Um, this was my second door card. I will say the second card went on a lot easier than the first. So all I can tell you is just take your time, read the directions, go slow. Um, it's a beautiful door card, really sets off the interior of your Corvette, and it'll be functional for years to come. Hey, if you like the channel, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, we're getting really close to the end of this thing. I'll give you a preview of what's to come, and that is this section it is the last piece of the interior we'll finish up the wiring we'll hook up the headlights we'll do the tachometer speedometer we've already wired up the lights for the blinkers and the lights for the brights and uh, after that the interior will be done so listen i appreciate you coming to the channel and see you next time law dog corvette